we're lucky we were born back, then now we can look, at, everything from a distance. From here, the woods, appear to be greener than they are, the rivers, bluer. The cities, smaller. And when it comes to cities, there's a tiny dot in the world map, Arletus. When, I came here almost 40 years ago, there was no theater yet and the city center looked different. Back then, the Komsomol Square was triangular, and it had a huge honor board, that celebrated different ideals, goals, and in those times. Goals were big, as big as the whole wide country. So, the tiny, historical two-story buildings were demolished, with no remorse, only to build a building for Soviets of working people's deputies there, which later became the City Hall. In 1989, construction of the City Theatre began in the western corner of the square, and went on for more than 20 years, due to political and financial reasons. So, the city decided to have its theater, it declared an idea of becoming a home for theater. But the building itself doesn't make it theater yet, until hearts start beating in there, and blood starts flowing of people infected with creativity. Tokių pasivaikščių jumų po Lietuvos bohemą, tas teatras gal ir prasidėjo, čia mes susipažinom su dailininkė Loretą. I think the theater started with these kinds of walks around the bohemian places in Arletus. First of all, we met artists who already had a puppet theater and others who wanted to create. And that's how the first humble play was born, in the basement of a house. I remember us, going away to our first theater festival. We performed in the Corners Puppetry Theater and were very proud of the play. To have a professional theater, People involved must have some experience. We had this studio. We started teaching classes, with professors, invited from Clay Peda, Moscow, and Vilnius University, to help educate our people. In 1999 we formed a class in the Lithuanian Academy of Music and Theater that graduated in 2003. Some of the people left but we already had the experience. Now the tracks were ready. When we left the theater, it already had a structure. We had a graduate class. We had a repertoire, as well as staff to take care of the needs of the theater. We went through, and are still going through, losses. It's a destiny, the will of God like we like to say. It's always important to get back up and keep going. Each team of professionals has its way and principles of working, and it's not going to last forever, too. Only time picks out what is most important. Where do you get bread from? From abroad. Humans are the only animal species that do theater. 
Everyone's so smiley and happy. Dad, mom, me. Our Letus Theatre is made by people and the people here, are amazing, they are amazing, because they love theatre, they're burning with love for it, they are living with it, they groan, from time to time, but that groan means give me a good role and I can work until dawn. I just remembered, there was a sauna in the village. Maybe some will think, that I'm bluffing, I'm not. I'm not. I was dreaming about a theater like this. And I want to be in one like this, because there are people you can create with. Wow, yeah. Did you beat the rug? You're not doing anything to help me, anything, at all. Mom, let go of me. What do you think you're doing? Stop shouting. I'll show you who's the master here. Where's my vodka, you whores? What's going on here under the balcony? Huh? I am truly glad, our theater opened up to the world. We're so excited, that already three directors from other countries have created, in our theater, and in those five or six years, I believe, around 15 different directors have created in our theater. This means, that we were enriched with so many new experiences, that were accumulated by those artists. I am glad, we could meet up with so many new theater schools, just like, our theater, thank God, they're already participating in international festivals, theater festivals, in these kinds of events, you can develop your artistic mind, realize just how eclectic theater is around the world, and feel what theatrical life is like there, get to know its colors, its ways of expression, see, just how rich the world theater is. What is theatre doing in the city? It creates the city, its people, its culture, it creates a need. I think that theatre, our Letus theatre, goes way beyond the city, its influence is far greater than that. If I felt no anxiety, everything would feel wrong, but if there's still anxiety left, it means that everything is fine. When you hear that whisper, that murmur, in the theater hall, everything falls back into the right places. Thank God, the stage still excites me. The process itself for Macbeth was very exciting, for me. I could see people that weren't. I woke up one night, I don't know, maybe at 4 or 5 in the morning, and opened my eyes, it was so dark, but, when I rolled over, I could see a man standing by the door, wearing a long coat. I was so scared, that sweat, cold sweat, 
was running down my body, and then I closed my eyes and thought to myself, this can't be real, this can't be real. Later we postponed one premiere and started working with Macbeth again, and it was the same thing all over again. I woke up one night, opened my eyes and there was the man, this time standing much closer to me, wearing a big grin on his face. He was looking at me smiling until finally disappearing. I thought to myself, that this can't be real, this can't be real. When, I'm walking down a corridor and I hear someone calling my name, but when I turn around there's no one there. Someone asks me, what are you doing? But when I turn around, again, there's no one. Andrusha! Andrusha! Andrusha, what the hell is going on here? Why are you sitting here? Are you not in your right mind? We're leaving for America. The bag is packed. I'm dressed and ready. What is up with you? I'm going to get the bag packed, too. Los Angeles, here we come, here we really come, see you in a while. I'm not smuggling anything. Andrusha, don't you worry about that. Go get dressed. I like unexpected things and I like a world that's a little different. I remember touring in the US. Everything was different there. It was such a challenge for us actors, and it stemmed from small things like electric sockets, they're just different from the ones in Europe. I remember when I had to buy and pay almost the highest price for one tiny adapter, then we forgot the ladder, and the play had to have it, so with some help from Americans. We had to craft ourselves a ladder. A common goal unites people. Then later on they showed us. Here's the space where you'll play. It was like a canteen in a basement. We had to adapt. We had to craft everything ourselves. These types of experiences are very exciting, and the trip itself is always exciting. Whether you're traveling on a plane, or, by a bus, you get to talk to your colleagues more, you get to see them in a different light when they're not on the stage. Because we're not just actors. I think that when we're touring together, then each day is different from the other. The play becomes different as well. We stop somewhere from time to time, visit some place together, we go out together. And I love that part of touring, when we're on our way home, and I suggest this game. Anyone can come up and put on a song they like. Sometimes not everyone likes it, but after we make a round or two, the the repertoire of the songs becomes so eclectic, it's just wow. We have to get up early and I love sleeping in. My colleague keeps joking that I sleep between the plays, or right through one, the touring. It's charming in a way that it freshens up a play that can sometimes feel too lived in. It comes back to life, it renews itself, and of course, a new environment influences it too. It gives its own kind of charm, as you never know what kind of people you'll meet. One of the first times I went on stage was during the play, Run, Beatrice. We took the play to the correctional facility in Arletus. Girls from the street, with bold provocative makeup, short shorts, a bunch of men, sitting in the hall, ACDC is playing, we're dancing, of course, we got a strong reaction, but then, when we did go home, we wanted to shower, everything off, as soon, as possible. Tai buvo me mokykloje, kurioje aš užaugau, kurioje pradėjau savo 
We were in a school where I practically grew up, where I started my artistic path. It's fun to visit the place from time to time, where they welcome you, remember you, maybe you become an example for someone to follow. The theatre itself was born out of a mystery, out of the desire to know things. There's always some theatre around any corner, behind a certain tree, in a certain house. In a certain kind of darkness, there is theatre, a mystery. I keep talking about mysteries, but there's a whole lot of them. You answer some of them, and here they rise again. And when you're growing up, you see the simple ones, what is life? Does it end with death? Then, we have mysteries of communication, of people's relationships. And you try to answer all, that in an artistic form. It's an infinite journey, an endless pilgrimage, a never-ending effort, to get to know yourself. That, journey teaches you to think, and see the way the environment influences, who we are, and who we will become, not only us, but those we encounter, too, by raising an even more difficult question, both for yourself, and your audience. Our profession demands us to be looked at, to be observed. We die without an audience. If in a half an hour the hall would become empty, the play would simply stop. For me, the theatre is a reflection of society, of man. Same as our bar phoenix every night you can witness comedy, tragedy, and all around drama going on. Same in the theatre. You get to see what you see in real life, except you can't possibly manage to raise all those questions by yourself. Other people in theatre do it for you, and I find it intriguing. What's our latest theatre like? It's versatile. It's recovering. I'd say it's changing shape and becoming more modern. It's growing. I guess it is the best way to describe it. I think it's never a conscious decision to be creative, the urge rises due to mysterious reasons, an impulse arises to weather, to act, something out or to write a play, and you submit to this urge, and it's only later that you realize that it's constant work, it can be hard or even torturing, but one can never seem to abandon this work, on the contrary, you even try to get involved with people who are too, trying to break the ceiling and reach the sky, because that sky, is theatre. Theatre allows you to look at the world from a different point of view. It's like a scale model of the world, a tiny mosaic, made out of different stories. And you can witness 
how differences between people, their ways of being, and their different views can form a variety of stories. I find it really interesting about the theater. It's even more intriguing when you're an actress, as you can place yourself in various situations and stories to challenge yourself. When you get a role, you're not exactly that person, even if someone might see that character in you. I like trying to understand the character I'm playing. I like to tune into it, and to learn, why, they are the way they are. I have this feeling that, I'm welcomed at Alita's theater. It's truly a pleasant feeling. I can already tell you that. I find it important. I think every theater director finds it important that they're welcomed in the rehearsals, but here it's especially important since it's Alita's, my hometown. It's the space where you created, and when you're in that process, you have to merge with your environment, people around you, and with what you're trying to say. On the whole, this weird state of creating is the reason itself why we do it. There are elements of beauty and charm in this feeling of not knowing, and it's the reason I fell in love with the theater. Even though I saw my first play when I was already a 20 year old, I enjoyed starting things from zero. Zero has nothing in it. And what's nothing? You're a god, and you can create your world by following your own rules, by deciding how many animals will be there, how many people will be there, what will nature look like, what's the relationship of the characters, what's their past like, how are they doing? Doing. How are they communicating with each other? You create each little thing. So, I'd like to believe that Alita's theater will work like an axis around which not only the city's cultural life, but Alita's life itself will revolve. I'd like that very much. I think, it can be a lot of different things. The only thing that, I really want is for it not to lose its vitality. I want it, to have a heartbeat, to be a place for searching and experimenting. I want to develop that wonderful relationship with the audience, I want it to grow, because I believe that some wonderful things began to unfold in these last five years. I wish that people from upcoming generations would visit the theater because they want to, not because someone forces them to. I want people from other cities to not only ask, what Alita's theater is like, but for them to actually visit it. It's really fun and heartwarming to be invited somewhere, to visit someplace, but we'd love people to visit us too, which is happening now, by the way. I think I'd like to wish to develop a relationship with the audience, to deepen it. In addition to this, to have the courage to search for new things and to experiment, and most importantly, to not lose the vitality. Let this place have its heartbeat. Generally speaking, I find myself a lucky man. My dream was to work in a theater, and to play on a stage, and it came true. I have two small theaters, I work with children. I have a wonderful family, beautiful children, grandchildren that are even more amazing, a beautiful, lovely wife. And I don't know, maybe there's really no one luckier than me. But, I don't know what kind of ambitions don't let me have my peace of mind, but I want more and more. I want to go on the stage, I want to write plays, I want to do something more, I want to create something. There's something inside me, something that I cannot explain, it's theater.
so, where are you going? Ahead. Hello everyone. I hope you're having a good time. Oh you are having a good time already. Good. Great. So have a good day everyone. All the best to you. Keep your mood up. Have a good day. You too. Bye.